What a bloody mess. Like, it doesn't look bad, but there's never been water just pouring down the road like that. Everything's just an absolute state. Right, quick bite to eat then, down to Stirling. Yep, no problem. Perfect, thank you very much. Cheers. Quick stop at Clyde Vet Group. Got my medicine. There's a store sale on today of cattle, so I'm gonna have a wee, a wee peek. Fat cattle and young bulls. Of the few lots I did see sold, they were making about three pound a kilo. Is that slightly back on where it's been? I think a wee bit. Look at a huge. It's like a train. I can't believe it. I'm trying just now get her towards the cow and see if she'll get drinking from a teat. So far, she's not been. She's just been from the bottle, and the cow's starting to give me a kick. So if I could get the calf in, that'd be ideal. Monster, monster. Oh, he's some beast. Oh. I've got 700 mil into him. Bit of a task, this lad. But worth it once we get him up and going. You had one bound to fix a plow. Okay, this is the plow in question that we're going to do the pins on here. One and two. Very sloppy. You lift the headstock up. The slop gets taken up there, the slop eventually gets taken up there and then the back end's still dragging on the ground and the front end's miles off the ground because it's got that much slop in it. So, plan of action, get that out, get that out. How to do it, um, there'll be a couple of side clips there you go. Side clip, one, two, and then it'll just fall out, easy peasy. Cup of tea, then we'll tackle it. It might be done by lunchtime, we might be five o'clock shouting and swearing and swinging sledgehammers. Here's the bits, one pin, two pin. I think this is all the bits we're needing and um, the hoist there. Just to make life a wee bit easier, Kev's just gonna take some axle stands as well. Hopefully it's gonna be plain sailing. I hope we don't drop the flipping trolley jack from up there, that would be a disaster. What a glorious day. Blue skies. Pin number one came out fairly easily, to be honest. We have noticed though, that kind of wishbone joint kicks up a wee bit. It's definitely got a wee bit of a bend in it. So don't know if our, most of our slop is coming from that rather than wear on the bush, on the pin, I mean, or under bush. 
Might be tricky to get lined up. The bottom's already out of line. that far and um, we're now just out of line with the bottom knuckle here uh, there you go if you can see it there so we need to lift the headstock up just ever so slightly to move it that way then we need to get the knuckle this way a touch I'm getting a phone call from the boss man hello right we'll just leave now yeah right okay just leaving okay knit this round for an MOT coming soon well Soonish. I need to source a chassis and bulkhead. You may be wondering why I am bothering getting an MOT if it's going to be off the road. Well, I still need to get a chassis, get the bulkhead, and I can kind of do quite a lot of stuff on the chassis before this needs to be taken off the road. If I hurried up and got a chassis sorted out and a bulkhead, I could get on with it at the moment. But hopefully, give it another week or two and the weather eventually turns not really going to have time to spend on it for a few weeks while we get caught up, sewn up, sprayed up, fertilizer up, everything up. The likelihood is this is not going to be off the road for another few months yet. Wish it luck. Fingers crossed. Hands together in prayer. Likelihood of it passing? I'll give it. 50-50. 50-50. What we need to do is that beam's been twisted that way a touch. So we slung it up there with the hoist and hopefully that'll twist this, straighten up the base hole there and the pin will just chap in no bother. Although it will make the top end a bit tighter. So let it down again. It kind of more just lifted the whole thing up. It didn't really twist it. The knuckle, the bottom knuckle needs to come to you. This thing needs to twist like that, or this thing needs to twist like that. So we could put the jack can't, can't there. there. No, so that would do the opposite. Yeah. The jacket there. Plan of action. Open this up a touch. Hopefully it pushes this out because the jack and the hoist are not doing anything useful. This wishbone, whatever you call it, is, I think, needing replaced. You can see the kink in it there. I think that's where a lot of the problems are coming from. New pins in, but we think there's a decent bit of wear on this cast piece anyway, if you watch it. Right, that's that in. Give it a decent, decent thud there. Yeah, keep going. Just net back to yard two. I've got a calf to inject and also there might be a one who's had a single who has another one in there. This is 
it's all good. No twin. Kev's gonna go and load up the bruiser. I'm gonna finish off this boat. Just need a boat this size, which is 11 and a half mil, so I'll probably take a 12. That's a 10, which looks long enough, I think. A couple of washers. We're getting 18 ton brews now. That'll keep us going a couple of weeks or so. Oh, kids spilled some over the top. Good timing, that. Perfect timing to turn on the camera. Up and out it comes in lovely bruised form. It's got a bit of molasses through it which smells fantastic. Just needs some protein in there in the form of rapeseed meal and some minerals. And then the cattle will devour. Smash it. It soon rattles out 18 ton anyway. Tools ready to go back to the workshop. Job done. Plow back in action. Pins will have helped a bit. We didn't have bushes in there. We just replaced the pins. Probably could do with the bushes doing, but anyway. Now Dad's been for a service kit here for that machine. Get that fully serviced, done and dusted. Right, anyway, let's go and check a cow. She was looking like Gavin, so. Righty ho. Let's have a check on this coo and cavy. Where is the cow? Where? There you go. Ba ba bing, ba ba boom. McCabe has landed. Cow looks fantastic. Happy days. 19 cows left. Easy peasy this. Oh, Why have I said that? Why have I said that? What a fool I am. The next 19 are going to be hell. Look at you. Smashing. Well done, cow. Of day check of cattle 14 kilo 